This is Hindsight 2021. I'm Damian Musiani, and welcome to the evergreen edition of our program, where we share news and topics that are not time sensitive. You'll see an evergreen hindsight here and there after a slow news week, or if, I don't know, there happens to be a Super Bowl the day before. Leading off at the top is the bottom of the world. Did you know that Antarctica has its own lost and found system? Paul Grisham misplaced his wallet there in 1968 while serving at a Navy weather station, and he finally got it returned to him 53 years later. Paul is 91 now and must be so relieved to get back his driver's license that expired during the LBJ administration and his beer ration punch card. Reportedly, the wallet was found behind a locker that was moved in 2014. I mean, they never do spring cleaning in Antarctica because, well, there's no spring. So this wallet just sat there chilling for half a century while all around it, a whole tourist industry was born. Metallica came to town. And I think Kurt Russell nearly burned the place down in the early 80s. I'm not exactly sure. It's comforting to know that at least you could never lose your brain in Antarctica because if you chose to live or work there, it means you never brought it with you in the first place. And if 40 below temperatures doesn't make your blood run cold, imagine being a Texas resident and waking up to this. You're looking at an actual Amber Alert that was sent out three times in the Lone Star State claiming that Chucky, the homicidal doll from the Child's Play movies, abducted his doll son Glenn and I guess went out on the road doing ventriloquist shows together or something. There's a lot to unpack here. So does that mean Glenn is the son of Tiffany Valentine from the Bride of Chucky sequel? If so, I'd abduct him too. She's got to be the worst mother in the world. Isn't she out in Vegas playing poker all the time? The Texas Department of Public Safety apologized and said that the Chucky alert was a malfunction of a system test. Moments later, though, the department then released a silver alert for the elderly Muppets Statler and Waldorf, who allegedly tumbled from their balcony and were last seen stumbling down Sesame Street. And if all this isn't enough to convince you of the coming apocalypse, word from the Caribbean is that Jamaica has run out of weed. Seriously. Marijuana harvesters outside Kingston say that heavy rains followed by drought has devastated the country's ganja farms. In 2015, Jamaica legalized pot in very small quantities, but the government there continues to destroy illegal farms, driving up costs even further. For the first time, American college students will now have to smuggle grass into a foreign country. That's akin to sneaking a barrel of oil into Saudi Arabia or electing a jerk into Congress. And that's your news. Please like and subscribe to us on social media, and I'll see you next week with Fresh Hindsight.